just driving over here as we were trying to find a place to park and uh, we were sort of going over speed bumps and it just turned into very comical and all these students are looking at us like, where are you? And uh, <laughs> my friend and staffer Lauren said, we're having a veep moment. And uh, <laughs> that's so I do often find it sort of interesting and alarming how much my staff loves that show. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but um, I think that, um, I think it's tough. I think there are different standards. I think mm -hmm. there is a, a different emphasis on how you look. Mm -hmm. I have gotten questions on how could I, from, you know, local coverage and uh, on how, how could you possibly do this with three children at home? You know, I, I don't remember anyone ever mm -hmm. asking uh, any of my other, you know, they all had children. Some of them had infants at home. I can only imagine, as we saw with Governor Jane Swift, mm -hmm. you know, if you have infants at home, the questions you would get. Mm -hmm. um, I do think, it, you know, the media's looking for a story, but there's also still um, some real stereotypes about women's role and women's role in government and in elected office and sort of where did you get the chutzpah to put yourself out there and you know it's um there are some really tough moments uh and i also think that um sometimes it can also be hard to get that press uh sometimes i think you're not taken as seriously it's kind of like, oh, she's a soccer mom, you know, and she's sort of doing her thing, and she really likes women's issues. I get that a lot. You know, you're really into the women thing, and, you know, and I see women's issues as our basic economic underpinnings, and that when we're talking about equal pay, when we're talking about child care, when we're talking about the cost of higher education, those are the bread and butter economic issues for everybody. And... Uh, you know, that these, they're such, but it's still, there's still some of that going on. Uh, you know, one of my first appearances on a local TV show, I got asked about where I bought my suit. Oh, you you know, and, and, and nobody else would have gotten asked that. And it wasn't like they were trying to, they're being very complimentary. But I'm like, really? You've had every other candidate in this primary on. Nobody else got asked about where they purchased their clothes. Which was TJ Maxx, just for the record. Yeah, there you go. 